All right, let's get it. Let's talk about some strategies that you can actually use in combination with everything else. And this is just recognizing different chart patterns and how to trade them. So a bull flag breakout strategy. This is one of the most common. This could be comparable to a, a pennant pattern, which is like a triangle forming to break to break higher, like a continuation pattern. And a bull flag is more or less the same thing. It just looks a little bit different. So it's recognized by lower highs and lower lows after breaking above resistance. I typically want to see this forming after we break above resistance. I don't want to see it form below our resistance. There's a chance of it breaking above aren't as high. So price will actually retrace in a down channel to test the new support, the old resistance new support. So you want to wait for price to close outside of that uptrend line or the upper downtrend line, then you want to buy it. Um, you can obviously trade inside the channel too. That's totally an option. Um, the more risky trade is to enter, uh, I guess not risky, but more aggressive would be to not wait for the price to break out and hold it uh, after the price comes down and retests that old, retest that old resistance new support but it's not much more aggressive i would say it's actually the proper way you should do it because you can get a better entry but i digress so this works on all time frames tick chart five minute one minute chart weekly monthly daily doesn't matter so you want to buy like i said you either want to buy let me get a different color pen here you either want to buy once the candle closes above here Good volume, you wanna wait for that break above there. Put a stop below that breakout's candles low. Or you could also say we had a zone here. This, say this guy was actually up here and we had this and we had a zone here. That would be the better entry, just enter here and a stop below there. So your risk would actually be less, but Let's talk about how you would actually trade the flag breakout. You'll start learning as you see these more often. These occur quite frequently. You'll learn the particular way that you enjoy, or at least that works best for you, how you would trade these particular patterns in the market. So let's take a look at a bull flag breakout. So price rallied to the overnight high. Oh, even before that, let's just take a look. Notice how I have drawn my support and resistance lines and I have a trend line down here. Change that color. I have a trend line down here. So I have all this stuff prepared beforehand. Um, US market cash open is over here. Um, and this is like uh, around 10 a.m. Pacific Center time. So before the market opens, I have my support and resistance lines. I have my zones um, and we have support down here. We have resistance right here, right? So that's going to act, it's been rejected three times already. So price rallied to the overnight high and broke above. You can see the higher lows forming here. It's kind of creating a triangle for a breakout. And once it broke above, it created this flag pattern, just like a small little down channel to go down and test that old resistance, new support. So one way to enter this trade is to buy the retest here with a stop below here for a continuation move higher. But a lot of people, and this is a, a good way to trade this pattern, is wait for the price to break above out of that channel. Let the candle close, and you enter on that candle close once the volume is significantly higher and it closes in a, a bullish candle. You can see that we had a doji candle here. People tried to short it. And then once the candle broke higher, broke that high and broke above, and it closed on decent volume, see right there, um, we would enter on the close of that candle and put a stop below the low of that breakout candle, just in case momentum fizzled out. And first target, we would just be trailing below, trailing our stop below each higher low. So as each candle closes on the five minute or whatever time train you're trading, we just move the stop up below each low until we either get trailed out or we take some profit. 
in this case, the first target for me would have been once price seemed to slow down just a little bit, probably take some profit, uh, trend the position, get paid a little bit. And then uh, see how we came up and tested a major downtrend line. This is probably drawn from like a longer time frame here in this area. Um, another area to take profit, but you can see here we came back, tested the previous structure in this area, and we held for continuation of higher. So this is definitely the, the closing of the market. So definitely be taking profit if you somehow hold, held through this entire trend. Um, and it'd be a solid trade because it kept making higher highs and higher lows into the market close. Very strong momentum. Now let's take the opposite of a bull flag. Let's talk about a bear flag breakdown. So this is recognized by prices making higher highs and higher lows after breaking below support. You can also see it after a test support, after a significant move lower on strong volume. You can see the same pattern, and I'll show you an example in a second, where there's a continuation move coming to the downside. So price, in this case, retraces in an up channel to test the new resistance. And we wanna wait for price to close outside of the lower uptrend line, then sell. And again, works on all time frames because the market is fractal. So here's just a basic graphic of how this trade would work. Say this could be support down here, we broke, or we could have broke support over here and just on strong volume um, and just cleared all resistances, sliced through them all, and then we start retracing making higher highs, higher lows, but we're in an overall downtrend, so we can look for a continuation lower. We don't wanna sell at these lows in this up channel. We wanna wait for the clear break, or if you're gonna sell in this channel, you wanna do it at the top, just because you don't wanna chase the price and think it's gonna break when it'll just it's not done rotating before the break lower. So we actually want to sell here once price breaks out of that channel to the downside on strong volume we'll enter once the candle closes out of the channel to the downside and we'll put our stop just above the high of that breakout candle for the push lower and here and here is a bunch here are a bunch of examples of a bear flag breakdown so you can see that price action was actually pretty bullish at the market open up until the reversal time frame this is actually around the european time european market close it's around 8 30 pacific standard time and that's when the market made a lower high broke through that support and now sentiment shifted significantly from bullish to bearish and now what do we see we see one two three four bear flags. So each time the price broke support, a flag formed for continuation lower. And this is a very common pattern that you'll see on all time frames. And when you see a bull trend switch to a bear trend, and just in bear markets in general, you'll see this type of pattern. So first, let's look at the first bear flag. So we can see that price is consolidating, moving up to test old support new resistance, which is right in this area. Remember our zonings and drawing critical levels. You're just applying market structure here to get that entry. And then we can short near that market structure, or in this case, since we're in the flag, we can wait for that candle to break out, break lower out of that channel. And we can enter on the break of that bullish candles low with a stop above the high of that breakout candle and we can look for a continuation to move lower to previous supports and you would just have to look to the left here on this particular trading trade example there was some some uh support in this area right here that's coinciding with this area and you can see we bounced a little bit there on the second flag here for a push back up and then a continuation lower, the same exact strategy again, and then it did it another time before it finally started to, to try and shift the other direction 
back to the upside to only hit resistance again. And take profit again would be on that trade would be that's the pre-market consolidation before the run up. It's a good place to take your profit somewhere in there. The bear flag pattern is very simple to see. Um, and here's another one right here. A higher highs, higher lows, and a bear and a a bear trend. So we didn't clear this swing high. Um, yeah, we're going to continue lower, especially once we broke that channel to the downside. And you can see that we made a significantly new low. And here's another bear flag, just a longer drawn out one, which you typically see in the overnight action. 